everyone, welcome to the channel. So, on today's video, I'm gonna do some latest news coming out from some credible journalists about my beloved club, Manchester United. So, first, I'm gonna start off with the casino situation currently at the club, as this official is now unclear and this official at the club is now in doubt. Could you be seeing Casmo leaving my net in general? We never can tell. And also, some news coming out from different credible journalists about Jerry Sancho. Obviously, as well as the managers, way, where will he end up next? And lastly, we'll be talking about Macy Good. Is there still a slight chance, like a little chance for Macy Good to come back to Old Trafford? Like, I would have obviously loved him to return, but is there still a slight chance? So, let's talk about. Firstly, we're going to start off with the casino situation, match time United. So, coming out from Alex Cox, who is very, very reliable, he said, My United will consider cashing in on casino. He is very targeted by a big money move to Saudi Arabia, obviously, Saudi Arabia. Saji Market is believed to be open to offer casino to F1 United rebuild. So, I, I was absolutely expecting this news. I don't know about you, but for me, basically and literally, I was expecting this news from journalists about Casino Fisher in that because Sergio Marx is about to get his 25% minority stake. And there were actually lots of rumors going on in the full entire media that Sergio Marx is questioning Manchester United for recruitment to, to bring Casino at Ocha for that. And I was like, I don't just understand. We don't need that kind of mentality. Yes, I know it's aging, but Casimo has been our most important player. Casimo has been the one, like, it was literally the one that made Manchester United, like, his contribution for Manchester United winning the Carabao Cup was very, very massive and was very, very huge. It has Casimo, like, what are the odds for Manchester United to win the Carabao Cup? He literally ended our system through the job. So why did I say Casmo like Casmo was in our we shouldn't have said Casmo? But what I feel is that Casmo might be tempted to all the Sadi Arabia moves and I'm also seeing some rumor that Cristiano Ronaldo is trying to get his his friend Casmo to play alongside him in Anna Sabo. I still believe Casmo to stay at Manchester United. Forget about the rumors, forget about the reports. Most of the post coming out from credible journalists. Casino should not, should, I would definitely not let Casino go if I was a veteran. Because right now, our building could be minded to fill on issues. While not, I'll be scouting some young stars, I'll be scouting Joan Neve, scouting Andre Boss. Those players can never match the level of Casino. Casino is arguably like the best GM in the, like, in the 20th century. In the 21st century, because like it's not even an argument. Casino has just been world class from Madrid and now in Manchester. Casino will always be a man, even if he leaves in general. But I still believe Casino will love to see that man. But those Saudi Arabia, those Saudi Arabia offered might be tempting. Like, I was even seeing some news like yesterday, they were trying to they, that the guy rejected the 500k. Per week from Saudi Arabia, like they might be tempted to all these young stars. I wouldn't be surprised this Casmo is my net in general, but I still believe he's gonna say no. So, in that of that, let's talk about the general assassin situation. So, coming up for Fabio Man, he said, Understand Juventus asked for information on general assassin. So, in recent day, he said to leave my net in general 100% Juventus are interested, but only on a loan. Plus part of salary covered by my United. No negotiation yet as my United prefer to wait for permanent deal. This according according to Sports Petro, the said Juventus and Borussia Dortmund are among the club keen to explore a general move for the Sancho, while club in the Saudi Pro League also holds an interest. My United are refusing to let the Sancho leave on the ship in the general transfer window, despite a return voting. Wanting rid of the exploring winger, United want up to 50 million pounds. Yeah, the problem comes in. Jada Sancho haven't scored up to 20 goals for Manchester United since he joined the club, I think in 2021. 
John and Sasha have not scored up to 20 goals yet. And they are wanting 50 million pounds for him. It will be very, very hard for Juventus to pay that cost. It will be very, very hard for Dortmund to pay that kind of amount. Even Sadi Ayala Klaus would find it difficult to pay that amount for John and Sasha. Obviously, I don't think the market value is like that. Is Price tag has literally dropped when it came to Marshall's time in the UK. And I'm going to be sincere and I'm going to say boldly that Marshall's time in the ruined his career. But I won't say they have ruined his career, I still young, but I still think Marshall's time in the brought his career down the limit. I'm going to be sincere, my United brought his career down. And I still feel deep inside Shadow Sancho. Let him shut down because of his laziness, because of his poor poor form in training. Some people say he's not having poor form in training every time he's just saying trash. Like, we have seen it in the England national team, we have seen it in Dortmund, we have seen it in City. So, how will you guys be surprised when every time that different coaches are still saying the same thing? I actually feel, feel very, very sad for Jesus Sasha at this moment because I, I was a big fan of him. But as a football fan, if you are, if you love a player more than the football club, then that is how all the disaster will just come up. You will be against the, the coach decision because you are seeing your player and the CB end of it. And I think that shouldn't be so. I love your disaster, but I still feel leaving Manchester United in general will be the best option. And it's actually a very, very sad way for your disaster to be ending his United career. Like he literally promised us to give us all he could. Literally promised us that he's gonna fight for the badge. But look at the sad ending. I actually feel pity for him, but I would have definitely love him to still return to Marshall and Nature, but there is no time. At this moment I'm still seeing some news that every time he's demanding an apology, but apology won't come again. He had won't come again, it's very, very late. Very very sad to see John is actually leaving Manchester United like this shiny star, but the ending very very sad. This is so I'll be fed up of saying, but let's get into the last and final news of the day. This is about Macy Greenwood. So coming out from, I won't say incredible journalism. They say breaking and the top are delighted with Macy Good and I said to speak with Manchester United about extending his loan deal. Messi good to stay at the top pay or to return to Manchester United. Yes or no? Messi good to stay at the top pay or Messi good to return to Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts on the conversation. I'm going to be a big divide in the United fan base because I'm not going to lie. I actually miss Messi good. But the thing is that if he comes to Manchester United, obviously there are days of backlash there. When the Shadani dropped that statement, some backlash came from from different women committees, the Women Football Association. They said no, Messi Gu should be coming coming back. That against men who 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 who, who go against women, that against men who do uh, those kind of stuff. But I still believe Messi Gu would have loved to play for Manchester United. He would have indeed loved Manchester United, but I'm very, very happy. I am even more happy that Messi Good is enjoying life at the Tafu already. Because seeing him not playing ball for over 18 months and coming back to football and even scoring goals, I'm happy to perfect, perfect numbers. Like, I love Messi Good. When I'm watching Messi Good in the Tafu, I was like, my United quality don't have this type of winger in that squad. Like, Marcos Gasso this winger this this season is trash. Anthony Flop at this season. Felici, I don't know what's going. Uh, Genasho still needs to improve. Like Messi good currently this season have scored more goals than the Manchester United wingers. Messi good currently this season is the better winger than entire my United attackers combined. I'm I'm not I'm saying this as facts. But Gatafe wants him and I believe he's gonna he's gonna go accept that that he's gonna go extend his own no more. I feel my United fan would love him to come but because of the backlash, 
maybe the medicine, but if Sajima Kwe comes in, here's the twist. If Sajima Kwe and his partnership with the CEO, she's like back, change the tea to me, it's a group back. Like, that is a huge question to answer. So, coming out from the source people, they say, that I can want to send load on a permanent transport, but it is likely that my net are going to extend it low to extend. Like, it's actually very, very confusing. Very, very confusing. United know that meeting is happy and the building is like they will know it needs to go up and want him to do so. And so far, the data plays have worked out very well for everyone. I'm so happy for missing people that is enjoying life with data people. The best is like she has missing people to come back to match time better. And if you were in time, if you were Sajima Kwek, if you were the people up there, would you be in missing people back to match time better? Let me know your thoughts on the comments. But currently right now, Miss Kwek is enjoying life in data people. And he's performing very well and I'm so so happy he's enjoying life after these past two years at John Bay. Being a nightmare for him. So I've talked about a lot of stories, we talked about Jean Sancho, Casmel and Shibu. So let me know just on the comment section guys. Like the video, leave a comment below. Thanks guys, thanks for watching the video to the end and stay tuned guys. Turn on post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Smash that subscribe button and bye guys.